morning. I desperately need to clean my sheets. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop, we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. If you were wondering what I use in the morning, I use these little songs. Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love and it's Okay, hey guys, so I just got done doing my hair. I blow dried it and then rolled it out just so it'd be a little bit straighter and then the ends would kind of be bumped. And then I put my bangs in this little roller. It's like giving Rob Schneider, but it's okay. I love wearing these little rollers for these like little swoop curtain bang type of action. I didn't exactly get bangs, but I did get my hair cut recently. And when I got it cut, I got these layers and never have I ever been able to wear rollers in my hair properly. But ever since getting these little like choppy layers, I've been able to do it and it's so, so cute. But yeah, so we're gonna start off with my makeup and then I'm gonna be talking to you guys about this semester and what it looks like for me. Actually, it's so crazy to me that it is my spring semester because this is my last ever spring semester. And and oh my god, my eyes are already literally watering talking about it. But it's just been like such an emotional roller coaster and the fact that I'm actually done. So for the most part, I always knew that once I was done with undergrad, I was just done with school. I never ever considered going to grad school. By the way, I'm going with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This thing is literally like older than I am. I'm just trying to get my last use out of it because I really want to finish this up. Anyways, so it always kind of sat with me that, you know, I am going to be done with school soon, but it never really like hit me until really today now i'm going in with my charlotte tilbury flawless filter this thing is literally the goat now i will say i'm probably not completely done with school because i am probably going to be taking an extra semester but it's not going to be a full year so that's why i'm saying this is my last spring semester and that is actually crazy to me i'm in this kind of back and forth right now which i'm sure a lot of college seniors feel where you want everything to hurry up because you're kind of just over school but you also want everything to slow down all at once like i'm literally going to be walking the stage wearing my cap and gown in literally four and a half months from now like that is insane and i definitely do want to make more college videos on my experience in college and just everything because i'm going to be so real with you guys i've had the best time in school. And I'm so, so grateful to attend the university that I do. And I genuinely could not have asked for a better college experience than the one that I have right now. It's so funny, when I first started attending USC, I have a little notebook and a piece of paper with everything that I said I wanted to accomplish during my time here. And I was looking at it the other day and I have almost accomplished every single thing on there. Like there's probably only a couple things left and I added stuff this year as well. But I genuinely think by the time I graduate, I will have accomplished everything that I I wanted to get out of this school, which is so freaking insane to me. But I think that's why my college experience was so good because I was able to do everything that I really set my mind to doing. I'm just like in this kind of limbo where it's like, oh, I want school to hurry up, but I also want it to slow the frick down. So now I'm going in with my Kosas concealer, literally my favorite concealer. I'm actually like scraping the sides of it because it's basically done. But yeah, I think I'm gonna talk about my fall semester and how it was. It's actually insane because it feels like just yesterday I was filming the get ready with me for my last first day of fall semester. I will have that video linked down below if you have not seen it yet, but it literally feels like I filmed that yesterday. And I was actually watching it the other day and it's so funny because I was mentioning like, oh, I really want to do this thing and I want to audition for this and I want to try out for this and apply for that. And I actually did all those things. I have always been such a dreamer and always have had so many goals that I've had for my life, like ever since I was a kid, but I'm very much a talker in that I will say like, Oh, I'm gonna do it, but then like never do. But last semester, everything that I said I wanted to do, I accomplished and that's actually insane. Besides getting straight A's, I did not get straight A's. So a little <laughs> salty about that still, I'm not gonna lie. 
whatever I was doing outside of the classroom. I was on the board of four different organizations. I was one of the broadcast anchors for my school television show. I was working my part-time job, trying to get content up, going out every weekend, and then also just having time to like lay down and get an adequate amount of sleep. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm really proud of myself, which is very hard for me to say. I rarely ever tell myself I'm proud of me, but I really am. I've been doing really, really light makeup recently. So I think I'm gonna stick to that because I don't wanna do too much today. By the way, if I'm looking over here, it's because I, I have a mirror. So yeah, last semester was an absolute crazy semester, but I would not change a single, single thing about it. I literally met a ton of new friends, got close with so many girls in my sorority. I let go of some friends that I definitely was holding on to for way too long. And within that, I was able to find a bigger community and even greater people in my life and really appreciate the people that were already in there socially and academically and extracurricular -y. I very proud of myself, which I think is so good. Like everyone should be able to sit down and like talk about how they've accomplished things that they didn't always think that they could and then truly say that you're proud of yourself. Cause I know it's hard for us to do as humans. Like we're always taught like, oh, that sounds cocky or you shouldn't boast, which like those things, nishkut. Like you shouldn't have pride. You shouldn't be prideful, but proud, you should be. So yeah, with that being said, I did want to talk about my goals for this semester. Before I go into that, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I love how I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a natural makeup. I just do the makeup that I literally do every single day of my life. But this spring semester, I have so many goals, but also not many. I feel like last semester was the semester that I was like, go big or go home. This semester, I'm kind of trying to take a chill. And I think it's because I'm still feeling the overwhelming sensation of last semester. I literally only want it to be a part of one thing, which is if you guys don't know, I am a campus representative for Victoria's Secret Pink. So I literally only wanted to do that and then focus on school because if you guys don't know, this semester I'm taking 20, oh, hello, how are you? Don't do that again. I'm taking 20 units because I'm batshit crazy. The classes I'm taking this semester is empirical research and applied statistics. Funny enough, the first ever B I received was actually in my intro to statistics class. So why I'm choosing willingly to take an applied statistics empirical research class is beyond me. So that's my first class, which is actually the class that I have today. And my second class that I have today is communication and social media. It's not gonna be like an influencer marketing content creation course. We do offer that at USC. We, what the hell? By the way, I just went in with some Charlotte Tilbury pinkasm blush. And now I'm gonna be going in with some rare beauty blush. It's mainly gonna be focusing on the effects of social media. So those are the classes that I have on Monday, Wednesday. Next, I'm going in with some powder. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. And then on Tuesday, Day, Thursday, I have three classes. I have a media and economics course, which I'm kind of excited for, kind of not. I actually really, really like economics. Economics was the first class that I took in high school that I actually thoroughly enjoyed because in high school, you're kind of take classes just because you're required to take those classes. And of my required classes in high school, economics was the only one I actually like really, really liked. I was looking at the syllabus for the class. The only thing you're graded on is three things, the midterm, the final, and then the company brief, which is like a final presentation that you literally have to give in front of the entire class. And this is a huge lecture. So it's going to be a presentation in front of over 120 students. If you fail the midterm, you are screwed in the class basically. So that's obviously why I am nervous for the class, but I think it'll be fine because like I said, this semester, I'm trying to only focus on school. Next, I'm going in with some blush. And then right after that class, I have my navigating new media. I'm like not really excited for that class, but it's required. So it's like one of those things where you can't really complain. Next, I'm going in with some highlighter. This one is by e.l.f. And then after that class, I have my sports and culture class. It's online. I did not know that signing up. And then when I was looking for like where my classes were going to be, I saw that the building was online. That gives me some time to at least like eat throughout the day. Now I'm going to be going in with my white eyeliner pencil. Two of the classes do have discussion courses and I have those discussion courses on Wednesday mornings. So yeah, I'm getting ready to actually head to my first two classes. And luckily for me, the first one doesn't start until 12 because after a long weekend, I cannot take an early morning class. So yeah, that is it for my school schedule. It definitely is going to be heavy, but I think we can do it. So the only thing I'm doing right now 
is being a campus rep for pink and that in and of itself is a lot oh and i'm going in with this little setting spray from charlotte tilbury oh yeah i forgot i need to put on some gloss so i'm gonna finish doing my hair i literally put so much heat on my hair today you know it's a special occasion also i'm still not the best at doing that little air wrap thing with my hair i'm trying to get better at it and t ways the other day i was sleeping and i woke up and i saw that i had a missed phone call and i kind of like don't call numbers back when i don't have them saved so i check my email as i do every single morning that's how you know you're getting old when <laughs> the first thing you do is you check your email like it's social media but i went and i checked my email one of my dream companies had emailed me they're like hi we're emailing you following up on an application that you had sent back in october they're like can you please call us back i had actually shit my pants that was crazy i don't want to say the logistics about it like what company and what position just because i do believe in protecting your dreams and stuff like that but they're like we reviewed your application and we want to schedule an interview and i have it this upcoming weekend and i have never been more nervous but more excited for anything in my whole life that's probably actually like a huge amount of sensation because if you guys know me you know i get excited about absolutely everything but i literally was telling my dad because he was the first person i called afterwards and i was like i don't even care if i get the position or not obviously i would love to it's my absolute dream i don't care if i get the position or not in my eyes i already won the main reason why i'm sharing this is i can do a whole video talking about this but there was a period in my life where i genuinely did not know what i was doing with my life one i didn't really know what i wanted to do and two once i figured out kind of the ballpark of what i wanted to do it felt like all my hard work was never being recognized and the reason why i'm telling you this is because i want you guys to hold on hold on to your dreams and hold on to your work and realize that everything good comes with time and specifically comes with your time not anybody else's timing but yours for so long i felt embarrassed i felt discouraged and i didn't know what i was going to do with my life telling you all of this to tell you like in that whatever you want in this world whether you want to be a nurse or you want to be an influencer or whether you want to be a news anchor or you want to be an entrepreneur if you just commit to working hard and being nice to the people around you everything will pay off everything is going to work out okay guys so the hair and the makeup is done per so now i'm just gonna be picking out my outfit i already know what i want to wear because it just came in the mail so let me show you guys it smells burnt in here the fuck it's my hair i don't know what smells worse my burnt hair or that tuna okay so this is my closet this is my bad boy that just came in Ooh. By the way, I got my sheets out of the wash. And then with that, I think I'm gonna wear this little bolero. Okay, just put the outfit on, and now I wanna go in the mirror and show you guys my full fit. My booty looks good. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we smell good on the first day. So this is the deodorant I'm gonna wear today. This one's the Dove Caring Coconut. I don't know what it is, but the Dove Advanced Care is like my tried and true deodorant. Okay, I'm literally putting deodorant all in my hair. When did you say it was a summer deodorant? When I stopped? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You said that you did like a cleanse, right? Oh yeah. Why was there a period of time where you thought I smelled? Mm -mm. I'm just wondering. I think I'm gonna wear this today. This is warm and cozy. And then for my perfume today, I think I'm gonna wear this one. This is a Versace Bright Crystal. I've been wearing this all freaking year. It's just so clean. It kind of smells like a bubble bath, in my opinion. Wait, which one should I do first? The grape one or the one of the Emily? <laughs> Holy cow, this thing is heavy. I've literally used this since I started college. Oh wow, it looks like it's gonna rain today. This outfit is actually perfect. So I got my little North Face backpack on and I have my umbrella because it's supposed to rain today. And then I also have my laptop. Oh, I'm gonna bring my Stanley cup, love him. Okay, I also wanna wear some glasses. I know it's gonna rain today, but I don't really wear glasses for like the sun. Comment down below, which one should I wear today? Should I wear these ones? Or should I wear these ones? Am I being Versace? I think I might wear these ones today. You're making me want to online shop. <laughs> it's the influencer, babe. I'm so influenced. I also want to show you guys my new reading glasses that I got. I think they're so cute. So these are the first pair that I got. I used to not really like clear lenses or clear frames, but they're actually really growing on me. I really, really like this pair. And then I also got this pair. These are so, so cute. And they actually go with my outfits today. So I might bring this pair with me to class. And yeah, I think that was actually it for my first day of school, Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me recap my fall semester and then kind of talk about what I'm looking forward to with the spring semester. This is going to be such a great final dance and I'm so, so excited for it. And I'm literally going to end off this video right now before I start crying. But if you guys are heading into your spring semester of school, whether it's high school, college, middle school, whatever, I do wish you guys all the best of luck. I love you guys. Oh, this is so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.